Streets reporter of the new world, though the Bishop Grady let y'all know what the fuck going on for this Black Files News report. If you may need a mathematics tutor, make sure you check out thegraduationparty.org for high quality, highly affordable, and highly accessible math tutor. And now on Monday, you actually had the United Nations General Assembly actually voting on a resolution and actually passing such that would require Russia to pay reparations for its invasion of Ukraine and a violation of other international laws. Now you have 193 uh, members in the United Nations General Assembly or whatever, that's 193 countries. 73 of them voted to abstain. That's like Brazil, India, um, South Africa. You had 14 countries actually voting against it, uh, saying, uh, and these are, um, you know, you got your, your Russia, of course, you got Iran, you got China. And then, of course, like less than half have actually voted for it. So, um, you know, that lets you know where the rest of the world stands regarding Russia's uh, invasion. Does Russia really have the support and the grip hold on the minds of these member countries that they really thought they had? We'll see. Stay tuned. Green War graduation. Streets reporter of the new world, though the bishop, Grady, let y'all know what the fuck going on for this Black Files News report. So you have the Biden administration actually opening an FBI investigation into the murder of Shireen Abu Akhla. This was a, a journalist um, who does journalism for uh, the Al Jazeera, Palestinian American state that was out there in the West Bank and was actually murdered. And it was said that it was by Israeli troops. Now, um, Israel initially was saying that it, it was by Palestinians. And then they said that the evidence that was found against them was inconclusive. Then they back in May, they switched up the story again, saying that, all right, well, they, they were hit by Israeli troops, but it was them. It was her getting caught in the uh, crossfire of them, like shooting at uh, Palestinians that were shooting at them. But evidence, no evidence really uh, corroborates with that. And then you got separate investigations, even in the news outlets, you know, Al Jazeera, CNN, and all of that, looking into it, whatever. And nobody's uh, coming up with the story that Israeli is uh, set on. This chick is out there with the press and had like a sign across her helmet saying press. Now, is that enough to keep yourself from uh, bullets flying your way in a war zone? You know, I don't know. But um, the, her family is, of course, happy about it. Seems like it's what's supposed to happen for somebody that's an American that's killed by a foreign in a foreign country, especially foreign military. But you got uh, the Israelis Minister of Defense, Benny Gantz, who was formerly running for prime minister or whatever, he's basically saying, he's calling the investigation by the U.S. a grave mistake and saying that they're basically not going to cooperate, basically like, fuck that. Now, I think that's very interesting because the United States gives them billions every year and they can still thumb their nose up. up, up that. That's some, that's some real brolic shit right there, my boy. Green War graduates, we'll see how this turns. Streets reporter of the New World Order, Bishop Grady, let y'all know what the fuck going on for this Black Fox News report. So, in the Democratic Republic of Congo, the DRC, you got fighting that's intensifying and moving towards the eastern city of Goma. This fighting is going on between the M23 rebels and the DRC army. So, the M23 rebels, they this this is like the re, the the rebirth. The respawning of the M23 in the past, uh, in this past year, or whatever, ever since 2013, when they actually got, uh, you know, chased down into Rwanda by the Congolese army. So they say, uh, where you know they were considered defeated. Um, back then, you know, in 2012, they actually had had rose up. It's actually a group of rebels that broke from the Congolese army and um, formed their own coalition based on this. Uh, peace accord that was signed on March 23rd, uh, 2009, hence the name M23. And they were basically trying to uh, uphold that peace accord, you know, accusing the government of basically not doing what they needed to, to do that. And uh, they were also trying to, you know, rewrite some political rules in the Constitution and, and, and go and go with a federalist form of government and all of that. So that was then. Now, this resurgence has to do with them uh, trying to get re a political party, but they've been spotting out and um, targeting uh, the Congolese gov uh, government militia position, you know, and especially in the North Kivu region. This is the worst violence they've seen since back in 2013 or whatever. So it's displacing a lot of people by the thousands um, internally. So, you know what I mean? They're not necessarily leaving the country. They're just forced to find somewhere in the, in the Congo where they can speak a high. And it's actually forcing them to the, um, these like little makeshift camps that they got going on. But the, the, the conditions is just like awful. So with this going on with um, them, you have uh, the United Nations account of at least 188,000 people have been displaced. Uh, you got Kenya, uh, neighboring Kenya actually sent 900 troops 
uh, over the weekend to the area to actually help the Congolese army uh, deal with the rebels in that situation. Green War on graduation. Streets reporter of the New World Order, Bishop Grady, letting y'all know what the fuck going on for this Black Fox News report. Now, you can't blame it on the government. These are the voters actually voted for this. Um, in Arizona, you had um, th uh, one of the ballot measures actually being passed where the majority have voted for undocumented migrants who've actually attended high school in Arizona to be able to qualify for in-state tuition. Now, this was brought by, like, you know, undocumented advocates that have been, like, pushing for state benefits for undocumented immigrants for years. Now, you had uh, 16 years ago, however, this state actually had overwhelmingly voted against um, undocumented migrants getting in-state tuition. So, you know, it's looked at as a big, big victory for people that, you know, got got people over there. As you can imagine, you see where Arizona is, like near the south of the border or whatever. So there's probably a lot of migrants there. And you're saying they can't get that, you know, that 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 15K that go to the rest of these uh, high school students, that go to my classmates that are graduating from here, you know what I'm saying? It's fucked up. Well, maybe not any longer. Green War graduation. Streets reporter of the New World Order, Bishop Grady Letty. Y'all know what the fuck going on for this Black Files News report. So we actually have the Biden administration's student loan debt relief plan actually being temporarily placed on hold by, the, by a federal appeal court judge who basically is uh, reviewing a lawsuit that was brought about by six Republican-led states. Them states being uh, Missouri, Nebraska, Arkansas, Iowa, uh, Kansas, and South Carolina. So this comes as uh, this plan, which is aiming to like cancel up to $20,000 in student debt, um, is posing a threat to these states who feel like this deprive is going to deprive them of tax revenue. Now, the relief plan was already put on hold from, you know, other lawsuits or whatever, even after 16 million borrowers have already uh, been approved for the $20,000 uh, student, loan, student loan debt cancellation. Um, out of 26 million people who are said to have applied for it already. Green War and graduation. Streets reporter out of the world, though the Bishop Grady let y'all know what the fuck going on for this Black Files News report. So in the United States, over there in Cali, at all 10 uh, University of California campuses, you had student workers go on strike, um, walk off the job for the day. 48,000 student workers, you're talking researchers, you're talking tutors, you're talking uh, TAs, um, all uh, because they were pretty much going against the college's like bad faith bargaining uh, uh, tactics essentially with the uh, with the stu with the student union, essentially the, those fighting for their wa uh, the student the wages of the student workers, not the student union. Pardon me, but uh, nevertheless, this has led to a lot of um, back and forth between um, the two units. So you, there you have it: forty-eight thousand uh, people outside the largest uh, higher U.S. higher education strike in U.S. history. So. Um, they actually teamed up the, the student workers uh, with the United Auto Workers and, you know, they're demanding like higher pay, um, you know, extended family leave, you know, more uh, child care options and all of that, whatever. They want this. You see how this all turns out, you know what I'm saying? So a lot of the old heads might look at it, at, the, at these people like, man, y'all are so privileged, y'all don't even know how good y'all got it. But do people though, you know what I'm saying? Sometimes they pay people shit and they really make these universities go around. And they probably looking at the situation like, y'all got it, 10 campuses? Really, University of California, 10 campuses? I mean, Cali is the biggest fuck, but I don't know. Let me know what y'all think. Put your comments below. Green Wall and graduation. Streets reporter of the New World Order, Bishop Grady, letting y'all know what the fuck going on for this Black Files News report. So you actually had a 12-hour manhunt uh, taking place with the uh, Virginia State Police when they were trying to chase down the mass shooter that had let off on uh, campus of University of Virginia on Sunday. So after a 12 hour manhunt, uh, police actually arrested without incident, you know, without any like situation or whatever, they arrested Christopher Johnson, 22 year old black man, can't believe it. Former um, football player, Walker football player at UVA, you know what I'm saying, he was a student. And apparently they were all on the bus going up to DC to see some play. And when they came back, um, he actually ended up letting off, you know, while he was about to um, get back to the uh, campus and finish the trip coming back, he actually ended up letting off at, against some of the people that were at the, on the bus and ended up killing three 
UVA football players. Uh, so, you know what I mean? You know, effing the team up uh, on the level of strategic play, uh, but obviously effing them up spiritually as well. You know, the unreal situation. Um, two other people were injured. Uh, so they, uh, uh, this man, Christopher Johnson, he actually got uh, uh, a total of like 10 counts, 10 felony counts uh, going against them, three of them being um, second degree murder. So that's what's going on. The Gun Violence Archive actually said that that's, that, that makes um, the 600 uh, mass shootings this year in the United States and 39,000 uh, gun related deaths. Green War graduation. Streets reporter of the New World Order, Bishop Grady, letting y'all know what the fuck going on for this Black Fox News report. So you actually had a major collapse in the, in the digital cryptocurrency space where uh, the leading cryptocurrency exchange, FTX, actually collapsing straight up, filing for bankruptcy this past Friday. Now you got the CEO of FTX, uh, Sam Blackman Fry, actually whose net worth before that was considered to be 26 billion dollars all of that shit being wiped out damn near overnight you know i'm saying a lot of declines happened in the uh, cryptocurrency space where you have um now you have um people in the bahamas and the and uh you're talking about like civil authorities and um and investigators or whatever as well as in the u.s are looking into why and how there are hundreds of millions of dollars actually flow out of the company FTX right before right ahead of the collapse now one thing I will say is that cryptocurrency especially like if you want to look at Bitcoin it's been dropping just in general you know separate from the FTX so maybe they knew something that maybe they saw something that we didn't see keep in mind a year ago you had uh you know just a year ago um Bitcoin was worth about like 60 racks now that joint is down to 16 and some change so you know what i mean keep that in mind um you got uh black um uh, uh sam um bankman fry actually went from being compared to like jp morgan and warren buffett to now he's getting looked at like bernie madoff and you know lehman brothers before they imploded you know what i mean so uh keep your finances intact though and make sure you always know how to get to a bag green war on graduation Order of the New World Order, Bishop Grady letting y'all know what the fuck going on for this Black Fox News report. So Google actually settled a $400 million lawsuit that's going to get paid out to 40 different states within the U.S. But basically using their tr uh, service and location tracker to, um, you know, basically use that to essentially monetize off of their users. Even after the users opt out of sharing that uh, location data with Google. So, you know, keep in mind, they, they paying 400 mil, that ain't nothing to a, a giant like Google, too. So, you know, stay woke. Some of y'all might be watching me through a Google device right now, through a droid or something, whatever, like, you know, they, they, I don't think you could keep putting it past them, you know what I'm saying? Darn, didn't you probably, you probably ain't even opt out of the location data, but to you that did, how do you know they really not keep a track of it? That's why they paying this bread. So, you know, this uh, big situation for the tech giant is said that for years they capitalized and put and prioritized profit over their users' privacy. Green War and graduation.